Over the last 12 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 350 residents interpreted this case of acetabular tumor as one of 65 cases during an eight-hour simulated on-call shift with a median score of 0 out of 10 and an overall average score of 3.10 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 5.53. At the same time, 1.37 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 21% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 56% of residents produced reports with critical errors. Frontal pelvic radiograph in a 45-year-old woman. This demonstrates loss of the ilioischial line on the left um, with a subtle osseous lucency about the left acetabulum. Uh, the lucency extends into the acetabular roof. There is soft tissue density projecting over the left hemipelvis. Uh, there's no well-defined zone of transition between the osseous lucency and adjacent normal bone. There's no associated mineralization. These features are consistent with a biologically active and aggressive tumor. Loss of the ilioischial line places the epicenter of this tumor in the posterior column of the acetabulum. There's no radiographic evidence for pathologic fracture. There's also a lesion in the peritrochanteric region of the femur on the left, which is very subtle. Um, I did not take off any points uh, if this was not described in the sim because it is very subtle. Um, a CT should be recommended to further characterize this tumor and potentially plan for surgery. Um, the referring physician or provider should be notified directly. This would be given an acuity ranking of urgent. So the six lines of the acetabulum should be scrutinized on all pelvic radiographs. We have the anterior wall the posterior wall, the iliopectineal, and the ilioischial lines, as well as the acetabular roof and the uh, acetabular teardrop. Um, in this case, the ilioischial line, as well as the medial acetabular, uh, the, the medial wall of the acetabulum, uh, are both absent. Usually we assess these lines to assess for fractures, but in this case it, it picked up a tumor as well. Um, there was no pathologic fracture, at least identified by radiography at this time. Uh, there is a grading scheme to help determine whether acetabular tumors place patients at increased risk for impending fracture. However, it's my personal practice and the practice at my institution to state that pretty much all of these place the patient at increased risk of pathologic fracture. And these patients are routinely um, referred to orthopedic oncology. Uh, in this case, the tumor was metastatic lung cancer, and this is a follow-up CT, which was not available on the sim, showing the tumor and its location predominantly in the posterior column of the acetabulum.